when you have something like that kind of success where you're on the radio all the time, do you have to find a way to replicate it in some other way? No, I'm, I'm the worst at that. I try, you know, if somebody tells me something's a hit, then I usually try to leave it off the record. Um, but why? That's a really... It's so silly. I don't know why. I just, <laughs> it's just this fear of, you know, oversaturating, you know, the market or whatever. But at this point, I mean, we've already had the success, so might as well go for it. So we uh, and when we first we started, when we first started out, like selling out had a totally different definition than it does now. I mean, we got offered a, I won't name the brand, but we got offered a, a commercial ten years ago to be like the first band to put a song on this certain brand, and we were like, no, we can't. You know, we'll lose respect with all of our our fans. And another band did it, and blew up and sold millions of records and made tons of money. If because I guess, will you acknowledge it? If you guess what? With a product? I don't even know what he's talking, talking about. No. <laughs> I assumed it was for the iPod. It was, right? The first Apple. Yeah, yeah the, the first, first Apple. one. Yeah. Because it was right around that. God, that would have been so cool. <laughs> but, but no, we... no regrets, but still. <laughs> but we didn't want to be known as that, that iPod band. Right. And so a band did it, and they got success, and they did that, but still to this day, they're, they're known as the, the iPod band. Now we're known as the idiots that didn't do it. <laughs>